I am absolutely stunned. This collection of insane artworks by uh, Paul Cézanne, Henri Matisse, uh, Renoir. How lucky the people who lived here were. Wow! You also discover smaller places. Hey guys, welcome back to Dramatically Expatic. This video is a totally unexpected one. It is an unplanned video. We were filming in Castello di Torre Chiara, a beautiful castle near Parma. And then after finishing, we were just looking through Google Maps and we found out that there is a fantastic villa nearby uh, that has a private art collection. So now we are heading there and I hope we can find something really interesting to show you there. I'm absolutely stunned. We found this uh, villa, this collection, by an absolute chance, and it was probably one of the best findings ever. Because this villa houses the art collection that features uh, paintings by uh, Paul Cézanne, Henri Matisse, uh, Renoir, and uh, Georges Braque uh, and uh, Rubens and Van Dyck and Durer and uh, Modigliani and wow and so many more uh, world famous uh, artists and I didn't expect it at all. I uh, I have no words. I am absolutely stunned by the amount of artworks here. The uh, ticket price is uh, very accessible and the villa is uh, accessible by car from Bologna or from. Uh, any other uh, city in Emilia Romagna. The founder of this collection was uh, Luigi Magnani, who was an art history university professor, who was eventually an art uh, lover, an art uh, connoisseur. So uh, he established this collection. He uh, created this collection of insane artworks by some of the most uh, famous, the most uh, genius artists. As uh, an art lover myself, I have no words because this is such a gem. I didn't expect to find anything like this, but this collection, this villa is, is an incredible treasure for Emilia Romagna region. And honestly, in my opinion, this collection is richer than Pinacoteca di Bologna. I mean, uh, it's smaller definitely, but by the uh, amount of uh, incredible and uh, invaluable artworks present here it's definitely richer than Pinacoteca and wow guys how incredible is it though when a university professor who teaches art history establishes a collection like this and opens it up for public and uh, you know I guess his uh, ex-students could have uh, had an access to this collection to explore these artworks in person to basically touch them and now uh, anyone who wishes can explore this collection and can see this treasure guys this is so good i think this is what the university professor should be they should not only teach their students the theory but also create something for them and create something for them to explore and to and to enjoy and to learn and you know this is uh, the the perfect example of uh, hands-on teaching if you want so Guys, look how beautiful this fountain is with water lilies and there are fish inside and uh, wow this villa apart from the art collection which is insane was a fantastic garden 
uh, this uh, land is so so beautiful you have a maze here and a maze is something that uh, is not very common for Italian villas I remember seeing a few of them but of course they are not as common as the British uh, castles and villas so here you can find the maze uh, this beautiful fountain, a uh, spectacular garden with peacocks walking here and uh, and it's just a place, it's, it's, it's heavenly. This place is incredible. I can imagine how lucky the people who lived here were and how generous was it to gift this uh, villa for an art museum basically. This villa is for me is a perfect example of a conscious travel, of conscious tourism. What is a conscious tourism? It is a concept of traveling when you not only uh, see the main uh, landmarks, the most famous sites, but you also discover smaller places and this way you're contributing to the community as well because by visiting these uh, smaller towns, by visiting smaller museums like this one, you buy the ticket, you help them to go on, you help them to keep up their work and uh, it's a good thing because first of all uh, it helps the local community where you're traveling to but secondly you're also exploring the country you are in from a different angle from a different point of view as you've never seen it before and while of course conscious travel is not the only way to explore the country it is a beautiful way that allows you to uh, get to know it better to uh, get to know it closer then uh, more touristic places will let you ever and uh, you know even if you're going to a more touristic place you can still uh, visit uh, less uh, known areas and less known museums smaller places and uh, that way you will definitely enrich your visit and enrich your experience while also contributing to the community and it's a kind of a sustainable uh, way of traveling because apart from uh, you know environmentally sustainable because this is not about it of course although nothing prevents you from being environmentally sustainable while visiting small places even better I would encourage you to be sustainable in that way however it is sustainable economically because by sustaining local economy by sustaining local community you help them grow and you help them hopefully attract more tourists in the future and uh, it's kind of an exchange they give you this uh, experience they give you the history the art and everything and you give them something in in return and it's a beautiful way of traveling and places like this villa are definitely perfect spots for conscious travelers so if you want to see something different if you want to explore Italy from a different point of view I would encourage you to just open Google Maps like I did before and just to explore just see what you can see where you can go and don't be afraid to visit smaller places be open-minded because you never know where you'll find a treasure like this one And that's it for today guys i hope you like this uh, very unplanned vlog very unplanned uh, travel video because i person personally loved it i am so profoundly touched by this collection and by this villa by its existence uh, and by its accessibility and if you like this video don't forget to uh, put a thumbs up to comment and share it with your friends and if you're new here welcome to Dramatical Expatic I talk a lot about conscious travel and finding hidden spots like this one in Italy and hopefully around the world soon too so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos thank you for being here and enjoy your day